we go through the Haggadah on Pesach and we see how much pain the Jewish nation was in Mitzrayim and Egypt, what they went through when finally Hashem came into the picture and took them out. Miracles over miracles. Now we have to understand why did Hashem put them into the situation and when did Hashem start taking them out? Now Hashem put them into this situation to teach us a lesson, obviously. The Jewish nation, they wanted this huge big problem in Mitzrayim. They had a crazy government, a crazy king, which was torturing them. And they were hoping the whole time, I wish we could get a new president, a new king, a new government, to be able to change these crazy laws. And nothing helped. They were just waiting and waiting. Until it got to a point that they said, I give up, I can't anymore. They couldn't anymore handle this pain. It was impossible. They started screaming, They were screaming to Hashem. And immediately after that, we see how Hashem saved them. And we can see from here very clearly that as long as we think that we could change the world, and we could change anything in the world, we are stuck in this problem. And as soon as we ask Hashem for help, it doesn't say they davened or prayed to Hashem. They were just screaming to Hashem from their pain. It was physical and emotional pain. And when they were screaming to Hashem, that's where this redemption started. That's how the freedom came out. From them just saying, Hashem, I can't anymore myself. I thought that the president is going to change it. I thought the king is going to change it. I thought that the environment will be better. No, nothing. Nothing changed until we started screaming to Hashem. And said, Hashem, you're the only one who can save us. Why should we go through trouble every day? Let's all of us dab to Hashem every day and scream to Hashem out loud, Hashem, save us. I can't save myself. No one can save me. Only you, Hashem. And we do that every day. We'll live life with a smile.